All right, so the NFL yeah. <laughs> spins quickly, right? right? So one day you're a, a part of the big cornerstone piece of the Buffalo Bills, but now this morning you are a Chicago Bear. How is that hitting you? Man, I'm still taking it all in. You know, I think since the day that it happened, man, you know, my phone's been going so crazy. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm trying to reply to everybody without sitting down and like reflecting like, man, like this is real. Just walking into here, man, and seeing all the history that's in this building, I think that's the biggest thing. And, you know, sitting there, my family's excited, man. Everybody's excited, man. I'm ready to come here to Chicago and just, you know, make my own story, man. Write my own legacy. Yeah, and that's key because this place is like a museum. Right. You walk in, your head spins around, and obviously you were born into this game. Your dad was a great tight end for the Miami Dolphins back in the day. Your brothers all played and are still playing, obviously, but you come in here, and if you want a piece of history, this is where it all began. Right. So what sticks out about it? I think the biggest thing is, like I said, just seeing all the faces and seeing how many legends, you know, play for the Chicago Bears. I mean, like you hear about it, but to actually come in here and walk around and just look around, I mean, if you're a true competitor, like, you would want to play here. And I think that's the number one thing that sticks out. I mean, the facility speaks for itself, top of the line. I mean, everything that you can ask for from the equipment to the weight room to the, you know, the, the, all the people that's in here, they, they just greeted me with open arms. And uh, you could just tell, like, the, the culture here and, you know, how they built this thing up, man, has the right people in here. And, I think that's the two most important things in the game is the ball and the people. And, uh, you know, obviously once you have those two, um, I mean, the sky's the limit for the program. So we go right to the linebacker position. Right. We've had some great ones here. So sure. obviously you know who they are, and now you're going to be one of those guys uh, following in their footsteps, but as you say, creating your own path as well. What do you want to show the fans of Chicago? I mean, I want to show them who Tremaine Edmonds is, you know what I mean? I, I, I pay respect to all the guys that came in front of me, you know, you have some great guys. I actually watch film on a lot of those guys, you know, believe it or not, but... Like? Uh, I guess the most recent one that you can easily say is Brian Erlager. You know, obviously, my old coach, uh, you know, coached him, so it was always a connection with me, you know, just as far as just going back, just to see some of the things that he did. And I think anybody that's striving to be great, you have to watch the great guys that came before you because that's what you're striving to be like. You have to compare your game to somebody. And obviously you want to compare it to somebody that's been there before, somebody that's done it at a high level. Yeah, and I know that coach who coached him. Of course, Coach sure. Bob Babich, uh, just saw him last summer. Uh, and he talked a lot about you, honestly. He, he loves the way you played the game and Erlacher loved Coach Babich as well. Uh, that Mike down the pike in the cover too, right? Right. Yeah, you know oh, yeah, that, for that's, sure. that's that's that that could oh, yeah. be you yeah. right now at six <laughs> five. What does that do to obliterate the vision of a quarterback, a guy of your size, a guy of Erlacher's size in this particular scheme? Yeah, I think just having a guy that can you know run with tight ends, run with receivers, and that can move because obviously cover two man, if that Mike linebacker is athletic, can move around you can make a lot of plays. And obviously when you turn on that fan with Brian Erlacher, he made a lot of plays, in particular cover two. Obviously he made a lot of plays on a lot of defenses, but you know, he perfected that cover two. You know what it takes to get to a level of being a contender. You came in the league with Josh yeah. Allen in 18, and you guys built this thing up. This is really a ground floor opportunity. Bears sure. are trying to get there. It's not gonna all happen in one year, but does that excite you as a young player? That excites me, man, because even coming into Buffalo, that was, you know, kind of how we got that thing going. You know, obviously, took a while to get there. So I'm all about the groundwork, man. I like building a foundation, man. You gotta lay one brick at a time. You know, like you say, things just don't come overnight. And now I'm, I'm all about that groundwork and just knowing that, you know, that I have the opportunity to be a big piece of that puzzle. And I'm, I'm extremely excited for it, man, and I'm grateful for it. You know, your parents, they did a heck of a job with you guys, but sure. you guys were born in this sport. And I, I gotta give mom some credit here right, too. Right. Gym teacher to, wasn't she a, uh, an athlete at Southern was, Illinois University? Was, she here? So she's got some Illinois roots. Tell oh, me yeah, about that. For sure, bit. yeah. So she ran track at Southern Illinois. Uh, so, you know, she was real, 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 real excited to come back. She said, next stop now, she need to go back to college because she haven't been since she left, I don't think. You know, man, my mom and dad, man, both of them, they just push us at a young age. And uh, not just me, but, you know, I got two other brothers that play as well. And we were fortunate enough to, to learn from people that's been there, learn from people that done it the right way. You know, my dad played in the league and they demanded a lot of us at a young age. And whether we liked it or not, you know, we didn't always agree with everything, but it was always in our best interest, man. And we just had to, you know, trust the process. You know, we talk about that all the time as athletes, but you truly have to trust it. I mean, nothing's great comes overnight. You have to work for it, man. And that's what we've been doing all our lives and that's what we're gonna continue to do. All right, lastly, I understand 
like to draw a little bit, right? Right. right yeah. I don't know. What do you use? Your pencil? I don't know. Yeah. You tell me. But if you could capture this moment as you arrive in Chicago and you had to draw something that might be a vision for the future, what would you be penciling or drawing or painting or whatever you want to do? Super Bowl trophy. <laughs> that's, that's an easy question. That's an easy answer right there. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Go take a picture of the one out there sure. and then start at it, right? Well, good yes, luck sir. to you, man. Thank you so much. You. Thank you.